Kuma ice latte. Good morning, hope you guys are doing well. Today we're gonna make McDonald's style dates ice latte. Or oh, kuma ice latte. Um, during the Ramadan period, McDonald introduced this kuma ice latte. So that was my first time trying kuma ice latte and I loved it. It was just fantastic. The combination between the dates as well as the milk and the coffee was just perfect. It was delicious. And I thought, why not me try doing it at home? Um, it would be cheaper. And of course, I can ratio it the way I want to. So this is not an experiment. As in, this is not the first time I've done this. I've already tried this out and it works. And that's what I'm going to show you. It's going to be very simple. So what we're going to use is Dutch Lady Kuruma Milk. So here, there's already Kuruma, as in dates. We have dates here, dates flavor, as well as milk. So you don't have to get the dates or the milk separate. Two in one. That's part. The ratio is solely up to you, I would say. That's the reason I didn't really ratio this thing. So it's up to you. So I'm gonna add some. Let's shake it. I didn't shake it. It doesn't matter. Okay, here you go. Okay, I'm gonna add this coffee. And let's mix. I have some ice cube in there. If you can do without ice cube, if you want to. Okay. Oh no. Okay, that was too much of a coffee. That's it. To be honest, it is as simple as that. And let's say you want it a bit more sweeter, like you want it so you like sweet, right? Add sugar into your coffee, like my coffee here, this one, no sugar. It's black coffee, no sugar. So you need black coffee, and you need a bottle of this, and you can make your McDonald's Kruma ice latte. If you're a coffee person, right, you want the coffee to be stronger, just add more coffee in. But if you, are, you want the coffee lighter, you want more of the milk as well as the kurma, the dates, yeah, pour this in. You can make it how you want to. Very simple, very easy, and delicious. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next. The next. Stay safe.